Well, good morning, Get Wrecked for Recovery crew. So it's day 53 of the Redeeming Eden Cycle Tour. R-E-C-T, Get Wrecked for Recovery. A 48 state, four year ride for addiction recovery awareness. Each day I pedal for someone who's passed away from addiction and the whole end goal is to build a rehab. And this is state number 37, North Dakota, on the ride to Ragbri 2022. A 4,500 mile loop around the Midwest, Ohio to Erie Trail, Michigan's Upper Peninsula, west to Glacier National Park, south to Yellowstone National Park, and east to Ragbri the last week of July. And it's all to raise awareness that addiction recovery options are available, that you don't have to die in your addiction. There's churches, celebrate recoveries, and rescue missions all over the nation, all over the world, that just want to help you, talk to you, and love you if you find yourself battling addiction. So I stayed at the Medora campground. This was my site. I just cleaned up because I was trying to miss these uh, sleet, hail, and uh, rain showers. Uh, but it has been absolutely amazing. Like, I've had these mountains back here, the little Missouri rivers over there. I'm not going to walk back over to it because I got super muddy yesterday and had to clean my shoes. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to go ahead and start rolling the video for the day now because there's a, a little, a good bit of stuff to talk about. So. Uh, on my zero, I ended up going to um, downtown Medora uh, and walked around it, and it was actually two zeros. I ended up staying down because of high winds yesterday as well. Um, but went downtown Medora, checked everything out, ate at the Little Missouri Saloon, just had a great time in town. It was really nice. Came back here to the campground, uh, and the guy that's working here, Mike, who I had spoke about in yesterday, our Day 52 video, was like, hey, I want to help you out. If you want to wash your clothes, this is the cheapest place in town. So he uh, offered to loan me some clothes to wear so that I could wash all of my clothes here while I was down. Uh, and then his wife was at Walmart. He was like, if you want us to get you like some food that's less expensive than Medora, let me know what to get. So I was just like, I think the only thing I'm out of is Slim Jims and Pop-Tarts. <laughs> so he was like, deal. I went to pay him, would not take my money. So thank you so much, Mike. While I'm w walking into the office, though, there at the campground, uh, there's a guy named Joe Wiegand who looks exactly like Theodore D Roosevelt. Like, I walked through the door and I was like, that's Teddy Roosevelt. And I was like, excuse me, sir, do you know that you look a, a lot like <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt? He's like, I do. Actually, I'm an impersonator. You know, he's gone all over the country. He works here for Theodore Roosevelt National Park. He does a show uh, in town called the, jo uh, called the Teddy Roosevelt Show. Um, and we talked, he actually has someone that I'll be writing for in the near future. Um, and it was just a really good zero, a really good meeting. Um, on top of all that, my wife was letting me know that the rental cars were too expensive for Yellowstone, that she might not be able to come because it's just so much. Uh, and so we prayed, I posted on Facebook, uh, ended up, uh, Lauren, uh, contacted a, a friend in, uh, Billings named Mason who has offered to pick me up wherever I end up and take me to Bozeman if I can't make it all the way. So that's taken care of. Uh, and then like still hadn't really figured anything about an RV yet. So we started looking, started digging, started trying to figure out and we found like a camper van rental place that's got an awesome VW bus, 80s model, um, that we're trying to get in touch with them about renting. I hope that something works out with that. Uh, either way, I think what we're going to end up doing, you know, I don't use any of the funds from the cycle tour to do the family vacations. Like I pay for the campsite, um, our hotel room, you know, like when, when we stay at a hotel room, cause I've got to have somewhere to be, but everything else, like her traveling there, renting the cars, all that kind of stuff, uh, has always previously been, um, just our, our family money. So with this being so much more expensive, I will say if you'd like to donate to award that to help my family be able to see me for those couple of weeks, just make sure you put a note or send it through PayPal or Cash App and put a note. This is not for, you know, the cycle tour. This is for um, Christy for the awesome work that she does in helping these wheels stay rolling on the road. I mean, it's just a, it's a blessing for the kids to be able to be out there, and it's a blessing for us as a family to spend time together. That's one of the things we look forward to on these tours. 
Uh, so it is, you know, exorbitantly more expensive than what we were planning, but we're going to do it anyway. I think everything's falling into place. I will record videos there. I will not post them until after they've left um, so that I can spend quality family time with them. But in order to do that, I've got to get there and I've got to start riding, which you're seeing now already, uh, and moving my way toward Montana, state number four, <laughs> all over again and then Wyoming state number five. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that and you're already seeing that now. So as usual, I love you guys. I'll see you later. Tell you what, pedaling up this hill was no problem at all with that cross right up there on the uh, horizon. Uh, it's also absolutely gorgeous out here. It's just forever and a day of beauty. Winding railroad tracks, big hills. Like, it's been a really good ride today, and this hailstorm that's continually dropping hail on me as I weave through it. 
actually kind of neat too. I've enjoyed King Jesus and the hail today. Hail King Jesus. Tell you what, even still, the cattle out on the open range, the storms out on the horizon, the fact that there is no one on the roads, like it's a playground in the end of North Dakota today. It's because I have loved it that much. Like it is absolutely stunning. Look at these little calves and stuff. Where's he at? Yeah, that little fella right there. Absolutely beautiful. Geese, migrating birds flying over. Like this is, I'm telling you, since I've gotten into North Dakota, just past Fargo, all the way to here, almost out of it into Montana, it has been an absolute playground of natural beauty, openness, and no one around. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Well, there it is, <laughs> leaving state number 37, North Dakota, behind and entering state number four. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, it is so cool to be back in Montana. I tell you what, I've only seen the west side of the state, and it was just super giant, mountainous, beautiful, amazing, so I can't wait to see what this side of the state looked like. Uh, by the time I was this far east in Wyoming, it was just all sagebrush, so I'm excited to see some of these uh, grassy prairies. I do know it's going to open up into high desert pretty soon, but uh, I'm going to enjoy as much of this as I can. Keep on pedaling down the road and uh, yeah, show you guys as much of state number four as I can. Remember, all those are on the Coast to Coast Cycle Tour, so if you go to that playlist, you can see my first time in state number four, Montana. Yeah, fun stuff. Anyway, let's go. I tell you what, you know, today could only be really described with one phrase. Hail? Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of it. Like, there was a whole lot of hail today. Like, 
on and off throughout the day, there were just showers of it. And it was really nice because I didn't get wet from it. Like, um, it wasn't big enough to hurt. Um, the sleet hurt. It, it stung my face. Um, the temps were really cold today. I had to actually put socks on, uh, which is one thing Mike had told me about at the campground this morning. There were two things at the campground this morning. Uh, Mike uh, had told me, you know, man, you need to wear some socks. It's cold out there. Uh, and there were two kids in the campground who walked over and they were like, um, my friend has a question. Are you a YouTuber? And I was like, yeah. And they were like, we have a YouTube channel too. It's called Bro Gaming. Uh, and so they don't have many subscribers, but if you get the chance, hey, go subscribe to their channel. I think the only, the way, the way that they had me find it was to type in Bro Gaming, do not buy this keyboard. Like I had to type all that into YouTube to find uh, their channel, but I went and subscribed to their channel and I told them, I said, hey guys, keep up what you're doing. Um, I just got the first check from Redeeming Eden for a hundred dollars. They don't pay you until you got a hundred dollars in your account. Uh, but I did just get that first check, which is so cool. So super exciting. Um, but yeah, keep up the good work guys. And, um, yeah, so I had to wear socks. It did get cold. My toes got, uh, really cold. But it was a beautiful ride. Riding 10, I think I maybe saw 15 cars today. All day. Like, it was wild. Uh, just unbridled freedom, nature. The beauty of it was remarkable. Uh, the mountains were getting bigger. It was just beautiful. And then rolling into state number four, <laughs> Montana. Let's go. <laughs> It's good to be back. It really is good to be back. And, uh, you know, the reason why I'm back in Montana and Wyoming is literally for uh, my family. We couldn't think of a place where we could spend a week together in, um, you know, Daco the Dakotas or anything like that where it was going to be a you know good family vacation. So we wanted to do Yellowstone. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm pedaling toward now. I wouldn't even have to, like, make videos, but I know God's going to show up all the way there. So I'm excited to make videos. Um, yeah, and, uh, tomorrow it looks like I'll glo go toward Glendive. Uh, there is a state park there, Mika something. I have no idea how to pronounce it. But I've been told, I was told by the lady at the pizza place this morning that I need to go to that state park. Um, uh, I would like to go, like, the 78 miles to the next town, um, but I don't know. I don't know if that'll happen. I'll just have to figure it all out, and, uh, yeah. All in all, good day. Rolled in at sunset. The, the GoPro, actually, the battery died, and I didn't know it. Um, so I don't know at what point it quit, but you either got to see an awesome sunset while I was riding into Weibo, or you got to see it just before uh, the awesome sunset set over Weibo. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to end the video here, not keep it too long. If you know anybody who's passed away from addiction in any form or fashion, please drop their name in the comments. Or find me through the Papa link in the description, and I would love to ride for your person and celebrate their life with you for a day. If you know anybody who's actively addicted, anybody in general, share this with them. Thank you so much, Get Wrecked for Recovery Crew. Every one of you that is liking every video, commenting on every video, sharing every video, and those of you that are subscribed to the YouTube channel. The analytics love it, I do too, and who knows, it might save a life. Don't forget, Redeeming Eden is a nonprofit ministry through International Gospel Outreach. That link is also in the Papa link. You can go there and find out more about Redeeming Eden and about the Cody Jordan Forever Funeral Fund, which is a fund I started to help families that lose loved ones to addiction with paying funeral costs. So yeah, from here at the uh, Roadway Inn in Weibo, Montana, state number four. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. I'll see you later. Have a good night.